okay so if you have started something okay suppose you have started learning statistics but after some days you will feel like no i will skip that and i will jump into the machine learning part right so this this is the actually root mistake actually people does hi everyone so in this podcast i am talking with bapi who is a data scientist and he is an electronics engineering graduate from bangladesh in this video like he will just try to explain how he just transitioned from electronic communication to data science so how he learned data science like so what are the mistakes he did while learning data science so all the things we will just cover in this video so make sure to watch this video till the end hit the like button as well and also subscribe to the channel so with that let's start this yeah thank you uh, sumant uh, for inviting me uh, uh, to this podcast and uh, i would be happy to uh, share my experience with you so first of all let me introduce myself uh, my name is bukhtiar ahmed bappi and i'm from bangladesh actually Uh, so currently i'm working as a junior data scientist uh, at iniron uh, intelligence private limited so i think you are already familiar with the iniron.ai so uh, currently uh, also i am studying electronics engineering i'm from a college so i'm in my final year so it will take around 1 uh, to 2 month to complete so once it is done i will be moving to india i guess uh, so yeah that was a little bit introduction of uh, um, like just explain a bit about uh, like your electronics role right you just said that you are from electronics in electronics and yes. communication right so what interested you uh, to uh, start learning data science yeah thank you uh, so yeah it's an interesting question also for me like uh, i will be answering uh, see actually when i started my electronics journey like i admitted to a college uh, with the department of this electronics engineering so at the time uh, i used to only focus on the subjective topics right what the like subjects i have i just used to memorize and just uh, do the exam okay this kinds of thing but uh, when i uh, like you can say saw like in electronics itself there are lots of actually section if you find like uh, there are uh, plc section robotics section okay so uh, in my college also in my college campus uh, there were my seniors also i mean uh, there were some seniors of mine so they used to work on the robotics part so uh, when i saw this kinds of robotics uh, things so it was fascinated me at the college so what i decided i just decided to actually learn this kinds of robotics first of all so uh, yeah during my actually uh, co- uh, i mean uh, college time i only worked on this robotics things okay i had implemented a lots of robots and projects uh, at my campus and i used to actually participate a lots of competition in my country so uh, you can say i have a lots of achievements also so i have participated almost uh, international national competition in my country and i got a lots of you can say achievements so then uh, what i thought uh, actually uh, this was kinds of conditional statement i was just following at the time because if you know like robotics you are using arduino and microcontrollers all the things right so in arduino like you will be writing some conditional statement suppose if i write uh, just uh, uh, when you see fire just you just try to rescue the fire right uh, like to my robot mm-hmm. so this was kinds of conditional state uh, i was writing so i thought uh, why i can't like you can say generalize this thing right so then Uh, i uh, you can say got to know about artificial intelligence and uh, uh, this is the field actually that was fascinated me at that time also because i love science fiction movie and uh, uh, when i get free time i just try to watch uh, kinds of science fiction movie and uh, you know like in science fiction movie you'll be seeing some futuristic like you can say technology right so then uh, uh, you can say that kinds of movie they they were using kinds of artificial intelligence technology so uh, this field actually fascinated me at the time so i started actually exploring about that what is artificial intelligence and what are the resources actually i can follow to learn that so that's how like i got to know about artificial intelligence and uh, mm-hmm. uh, you can say yeah so that was the little story like uh, from electronics to artificial intelligence like how i got to know and if you want to ask me like uh, like how did you learn about artificial intelligence because uh, when i started like at that time it was not easy for me uh, like to cope up everything because uh, the resources okay so mm-hmm. i can say uh, this resources actually is very less uh, now i can say resources is like very mm-hmm. high okay over the world you will find it. but at that time actually uh, uh, like during the pandemic itself so i was exploring about the ai then uh, i started with this uh, coursera course and when this our course mm-hmm. i think you know yeah, yeah. Uh, like this machine learning so if you know that course i think uh, you can see sir w- w- was just explaining the mathematical behind this algorithms but yeah, yeah. the practical implementation was not there right so then uh, i started again like exploring like 
what are the resources I can follow. Then I had gone through a lot of YouTube channel, but uh, I didn't satisfy it, you can say. But then I got to know about Krishna XR channel. So, so yeah, so I started this machine learning with uh, this Krishna XR channel only. Then I completed this machine learning. Then uh, I got to know about iNeuron. Like they are uh, launching some kinds of affordable courses also. So, and I researched about that, like what are the course curriculum they are giving. So then I took two courses. One is DLCV NLP and two is like uh, MLDL masters. Okay, I started. Then uh, then I started with that course and uh, I completed those course. And uh, uh, I was just trying to give my best. Okay, uh, I mean, during the course period, uh, then uh, Suddenly, I got a call from Sudan Susar. I think you know Sudan Susar. Mm -hmm, uh, he's yeah, the yeah. CEO uh, mm -hmm. of iNeuron. So he <clears throat> gave me the offer so to join iNeuron. So yeah, then I accepted the offer. And uh, now I'm working as junior data scientist at iNeuron. So it was, this was my little story, you can say. Yeah. Great, great, Hamad. <laughs> really. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you just, uh, like when you just starting, start learning data science, definitely you might have faced some challenges, right? Uh, yeah. Like even when it, when you are just learning statistics or let's say some other topic. So yeah. what's the challenges uh, you just faced so that even, for example, uh, any fresher uh, who just want to learn, start, start learning data science so that they can just avoid that. They can just uh, avoid that mistakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so the main challenge was like enough resources. I already told you uh, mm -hmm. because at the time the resources was like very less. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, nowadays I can say there are lots of YouTube channel. There are lots of blogs over the internet. Okay. So you can directly refer. Okay. And these are actually good content they're providing. So uh, I can say like the main challenge would be like the consistency. Okay. So if you have started something, okay. Suppose you have started learning statistics, but after some days you will feel like, no, I will skip that and I will jump into the machine learning part. Right. So this, this is the actually root mistake actually people does. So I will say, just don't do that. Just try to complete the statistics parts. Okay. So just, uh, because the statistics is the main concept. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you are, if you want to start machine learning, because uh, we know machine learning is all about statistical, you can say analysis, right? Uh, I am not talking about the deep learning because mm -hmm. deep learning uh, is different. So if you want to start with machine learning, just try to complete the, you can say statistics part and uh, from where you are starting actually, just try to complete it. Okay, try to complete it and try to actually, uh, you can say, uh, uh, analyze the thing. Okay, so uh, try to pick up any data set and try to apply these kinds of, uh, you can say theory. Okay, whatever you have learned. That's how actually you will be actually uh, learning a lot. Okay, instead of just going through the video, going through the lecture, you cannot learn, I mean, ever, right? So just try to practice and try to be consistent. That is the thing. I mean, I will advise from my side. Great, great, bro. That's very good point that you just mentioned. Yes. Uh, like you just said that uh, there is lack of resources when you were just starting uh, mm. uh, learning data science, right? Oh, currently, like, can you just share your resources, like uh, any channels or let's say blogs or let's say some other content where someone can start learning data science? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, actually, if you want to learn, uh, you can say this data science and if you want to at least start it with so there are lots of free resources i can say actually i will i will tell whatever i used to follow mm -hmm. I mean, during my period so you can follow this krishna xr channel because uh, if you see uh, every videos are there okay because uh, it's a very uh, old channel so that is uploading a lots of video so i can suggest uh, go through the playlist okay just try to complete the machine learning playlist uh, then try to complete the deep learning playlist uh, like apart from that there are uh, an another youtube channel also like uh, this uh, you can say this stack quiz uh -huh. uh, then uh, yeah mm -hmm. what are some of the courses which you just taken ahmad you just said yeah. some of the courses like i knew run yeah. course so apart from that right. any other courses which you just recommend for the beginner to start learning data science okay so if i talk about the paid courses so actually i Actually, I was searching for paid courses when I started, uh, mm -hmm. apart from these free resources. But at that time, the main issue was like the, you can say, amount they're taking. Okay, because if you see in the market, actually, it's a huge amount they're taking for uh, machine learning course or deep learning course, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, what I feel like, uh, iNeuron is like uh, giving the affordable courses. Okay, uh, just, uh, I think you have seen the course levels and in there you can say mm -hmm. amount so they're taking very less amount of money but they're providing a good quality content also not only good quality content you will be finding you can say live classes and uh, you can say uh, skype support mentor support okay all the thing you will be getting 
so i can say yeah it's a best uh, investment okay uh, uh, for you if you are spending some amount of money on pay, paid courses because uh, if you are spending on paid courses so uh, you are not only getting the content you are getting the mentor because mentor is the root thing okay uh, if you want to do transition so they will actually give you the idea like how to do transition they will give you the suggestion okay from their experience itself mm -hmm. right so yeah i can say just try to analyze the market and if you feel like yeah that course is better for me you can pick that one uh, but for my recommendation, I will recommend uh, you can take any run, okay? Uh, because I already took and now I'm here, okay? So I can say, yeah, you can take. It's up yeah, to you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you What you just pre uh, said previously, when it comes to, uh, you just from electronics background, you just switch it to data science, right? Uh, just yes. what advice for you, for, for the freshers who just want, who are mm -hmm. in different backgrounds, like let's say mechanical, electronics, a different okay. backgrounds who just want to transition in the field of data science. So from your okay. experience, definitely you might have mm. no right. Like yes, what yes, are the sir. things uh, we should follow? Mm. What are the things mm -hmm. that we should not follow? So based on your experience, what are your what's your advice to the one who are just watching this video? Okay, so yeah, actually it's a good question actually because uh, many people think about like uh, I'm not from IT background. Okay, I don't have any technical experience, but can I you can say transit to the data science or not? So. That is the you can say now. Now it is like a very expensive question. So okay, if you feel like, so I will say, background doesn't matter. Okay, background doesn't. If you are a fresher, if you are a dropout, if you are an experienced person, if you have a gap, okay, it doesn't matter. If you have the passion and if you have the dreams, okay. Suppose I want to get in data science domain, so you can do because there are many people I have seen they are doing that kinds of thing, right? Even from iNeuron itself, like there are lots of, uh, I mean, person, they are from non-tech background, but they are doing the transition. Okay. So you can do, but you just uh, have to actually do hard work because I always say uh, success never comes from your dream. Okay. It comes from the hard work. So just be consistent. So just try to learn. Okay. Just try to do uh, as much as hard work you can. Right. So uh, the main challenge would be like, learning programming language so i will recommend just try to start with python because nowadays python is the easy language i can say right so you can understand easily so if you're spending around one month on python okay so you can learn this python programming then once you know the python programming just try to learn these basics of things like the simple linear algebra then statistics okay basics of machine learning algorithm try to implement some kinds of projects okay if you uh, find internet okay if you find youtube there are lots of implementation of projects right now okay there are good projects i can say okay uh, like they are giving uh, with a no cost so you can just try to implement that it, it might be you are uh, referring directly from their video it's fine but just try to implement something then once you have implemented uh, then try to think something uh, from yourself like how i can modify that project okay and uh, you can say yeah that kinds of thinking you need to actually think unless and until you are not thinking so it is hard to like uh, uh, you can say uh, get in data science because in data science domains actually if you have the thinking power now so you can crack any kinds of thing right so yeah that would be my suggestion just uh, try to be consistent because consistency is the key here and uh, yeah just do hard work i will say yeah, yeah, that's that's great, great explanation, bro. And also, I'm just uh, happy to have you in, on my channel. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, and uh, yeah, just uh, keep doing that kinds of work. And yeah, sure, uh, sure. yeah best wishes for you. Yeah, yeah, thank you.